My name is Tamia Jordan, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers, and I'm Emerson's Director of Intercultural Student Affairs, and this is um, of our wonderful team, and I'm going to pass it off to them to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Maria, and I go by the she series of pronouns. I work um, as a student for the Intercultural Center this year, and that's me. Hi everyone, my name is Jalisa and I'm the Multicultural Specialist with Intercultural Student Affairs, which means that I work both with Intercultural Student Affairs and with the Counseling Center doing individual clinical work and doing program support. Yes, and my name is Jamaica Saraki. I go by the He They series. I'm the Assistant Director of Intercultural Student Affairs. And y'all, you come, want to come see us, okay? Um, we actually have a cultural center. It's at 172 Tremont. Yes, we recognize that there's a pandemic, so obviously space is limited, but that doesn't mean that there still isn't a variety of ways to connect with us. So this year and for the past years, we house a number of cultural orgs, 15 and counting. Some you may have heard of, including Ebony, Power, Spectrum, Asia, and Eagle. Um, and yeah, we connect with a lot of people. We also offer a variety of programs from dance parties to workshops, and more, including the Mind Body Soul Justice Collaborative, which is a partnership between intercultural student, sorry, spiritual life, and the counseling center, as well as other departments on campus. And then um, I just want to mention that we also annually do a social justice academy, and it happens in the spring semester. So since you're starting in the spring semester, this will be a huge part of your first semester. And this year, we're going to be focusing on mass incarceration and abolition, and we kick off next week with a pro matters to me and why, and the featured speaker is Manisha Gelman, who is a faculty member at Emerson and also the founder um, and director of Emerson's Prison Initiative. And then we're going to conclude on Friday, March 5th at 3 p.m. with a keynote address from Raymond Santana, um, who is one of the Exonerated Five. And with that, we just like to welcome you to Emerson. We're so excited that you're here and you're now gonna see some videos from a variety of other staff and, and folks around campus who are also excited to welcome you here. Hi, I'm Andrea Popa, Director of International Student Affairs. You're joining a college community that fuels creativity and curiosity and that values diversity of thought and inclusive expression. And every year we look forward to meeting new students in person during orientation. This year is going to be a little bit different, but we will have the opportunity over the course of the coming days to tell you a little bit about our office, the support we offer. Some of the things OISA, the International Student Affairs Office does, is to advise you on immigration status in the U.S., U.S. employment, international travel. But we also recognize that your experience here at Emerson and in the U.S. is so much more than just the paperwork parts. And so uh, we work strategically with other offices around campus to make sure you feel supported. We want to make sure that you have academic support, career preparedness, connection to campus. And those are big things for us, as I know they are for you as well. So without further ado, I'd welcome you home to Emerson. Hello. My name is Nikki Hester. I use she, her, hers pronouns. I'm a part of this year's core staff or orientation coordinators, um, which means that I was a part of bringing students of color orientation to life this year. I'm also involved on, um, in many cultural orgs on campus. So I'm a member of Ebony, and I'm also the chair of Flawless Rights, which is a subset of Flawless Brown, which is an art collective for women and non-binary people of color. Being a student of color on a predominantly white campus at a predominantly white institution can be difficult. Um, and I really think that what has helped me thrive um, and be happy and successful here has been finding those communities through cultural orgs and through meeting people that look like me and have experiences like me and know how to create spaces that feel safe for people like me has really been what has helped me be as happy as I am here. Um, there's, there's a lot to be said for walking into a room and knowing that you're in a place that's safe and a place that honors you and your identity. And I really feel like the cultural orgs on campus um, have created those spaces for me. I feel empowered. I feel like I have full reign to be creative. And I feel like there are places where I'm able to recharge. I think that 
oftentimes I may find myself being one of the only people of color in a classroom. Um, that's not something that is uncommon at Emerson. And yet I always know that I have these places that I can go to at the end of the day where I have somewhere that feels safe and somewhere where I'm not the only brown face in a classroom. Um, and I think that those are really important community spaces. And I think that at Emerson, we really create those for ourselves. Um, and I've, I've really found a lot of value in those. Um, and I found a lot of value in contributing to those. And so I think that above all else, when it comes to being a student of color at a predominantly white institution, I can only give you the advice to find your community and find your tribe because they're so, so important. And they're what's gonna help you feel happy and safe and comfortable and heard. Um, and I really think that these communities that we create for each other are the most important thing that you'll be able to find here. So coming to Emerson from a place that really wasn't predominantly white and as a half not white person, um, I definitely was looking for a place to have community and have people that were like me and you know live similar experiences to me. Um, so finding the intercultural community was just really, really special to me. Um, I've been active in Asia, the Asian student group for the past two years. And this is my second semester actually being the co-executive chair, which is our name for essentially the president. Um, it's just a really special place for me to connect with people like me um, and people who like knows know what it feels like to have like a similar background um, and go to a school like Emerson. Um, and we can just meet every week and hang out. And um, even just the intercultural community as a whole, I've made a lot of friends across all of the intercultural orgs. Um, and it's just really special to have so many friends. Um, of course, we're all so diverse and so different and our experiences are so different. Um, but we all just like share this really common, unique bond. Um, and just having like the intercultural community like at the root of that is just really special. Um, and even when we have like physical space, like we, we can use the cultural center um, literally having like a physical space that is for us to specifically occupy is just a really special thing. And the community has just really, really shaped my experience um, here at Emerson. Hi, I'm Mel. Um, I'm a senior at Emerson College. Um, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I currently work um, at the Intercultural Center. I really like working there. Um, we have a great team. I have love my bosses. <laughs> Shout out to Jamaica. And um, I guess that's it. So. Hi. Hey guys, I'm Clarissa. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm currently a student worker for Emerson's Intercultural Center. And I guess just like what I want to let everyone know in this video is that the Intercultural Center has been such a grounding and like supportive space for me as a person of color at Emerson, which is a predominantly white school. So I just hope that you guys like, you know, get involved and reach out to the Intercultural Center just like I did because it really has become my favorite space and place to be at at Emerson. And it's just really such a tight knit community and family. So yeah, bye. Hi everyone, my name is Jalen Cox. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And I'm a senior marketing communication student here at Emerson College. This is my first semester being a part of the intercultural team. Um, but I've been a part of the intercultural org family for much longer since my freshman year. I became involved with Flawless Brown and I'm now the president. Flawless Brown is a artist collective for self-identifying women and non-binary people of color. Um, and y'all should go check it out. And I hope to see you around. So, bye. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed getting to know some of those people. Um, if they're is something or a program you'd like to be involved in, a program you'd like to see from us, or any way that you'd like to connect with us, um, you can connect with us on mConnect and uh, hit us up and reach out to us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is at Emerson Intercultural. Uh, love to see you guys around.